بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ و شکر للہ و صلاۃ و سلام اشرف الخلق و عز المرسلین المسما فسما ب احمد و فل عرض ب محمد اللہ مصلی اللہ محمد و عال محمد و عل اہل بیت طیبین طاہرین سلام اللہ علیہم اجمعین السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ٹوڈے از دا سکسٹینتھ آف دا ہولی منتھ آف رمضان فورٹین فورٹی تھری اور ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی ٹو اینڈ وی وش یو لائک آلویز اے اسپلینڈ ڈے اے فینٹیسٹک ڈے اے ڈے فل آف سکسیس اے ڈے وے یو ہیو کم کلوز ٹو یور ڈیزائرز وٹ یو وانٹ ٹو اچیو ان دس ورلڈ and um, in a positive way and then may you enjoy the blessings the bounties and all the fadl and ni'mah and the barakat of Allah Azza wa Jal Jalla Sha'ana we said and we've mentioned about humility and today we'd like to address those who are in positions those who are head of departments or supervisors or managers those who are directors those who are so that and this we say first as a reminder myself first and then you know all of you Allah says in Quran kulillahumma malikul mulk that Allah say Muhammad that Allah owns dominion Allah possesses authority. Let us not behave with people. This is still under the topic of, humil- of, of humility. Let us not behave with people who are under us in a department or whatever the situation might be. Does not behave with people and act like a boss and be bossy. in a way being conceited, in a way being arrogant, in a way want to control people, in a way want to show and want to project power over people. And we've said this is a psychological and spiritual disease. Allah is the owner of authority. May we in those positions project humility. not void of efficiency and efficacy achieve what we need to achieve and be assertive in what we need to achieve yes but do it with humility do it with kindness do it with politeness and this is important that Allah Azza wa Jal Jalla Sha'ana is the owner of power we only represent and we only put there and we know you know none of those positions ever are none of it is ever permanent so why do we behave with people that we we want to control we want to project power this is a problem is a sickness may we today If there are any people who is working under you, if we can say so, under or you know where you are the supervisor or, or where you are senior over them, be kind to them, be gentle, be in a position where you listen, have a consultative approach, maybe the one who is Your junior might have a very good opinion. Opinions don't come with an age tag or with experience tag. Maybe someone there might have a brilliant idea instead of shunning people away. So we want you, inshallah, like always, be humble and see how Allah will elevate and see how Allah will make that institution great. because of your leadership and that is leadership leadership is not 
you sit high on the throne and you want to look down and give orders but you have no clue that's not in le that's not a leader that's a dictator may allah give us that wisdom and that ilham that inspiration and intuitively may we project divinity even in our even in the corporate world in education in the workplace wherever it might be because allah is everywhere even in the corporate world wherever it might be so we wish you success in this regard just let us um, mention hadith of the holy prophet as said for me the most likable person is the closest to me on the day of judgment which type of person a person with high morals and a person who's extremely humble the person who will be the furthest from me is the person who are conceited and arrogant and um, again you know that is in kitab qurbul asnad of al sharai of sheikh al-saduq then Imam Sadiq Salamullah Alayhi he says one of the signs of humility is the one who is willing to sit in an insignificant place very important you don't look for a particular chair you don't look for an elevated chair because you're the boss etc now insignificant place because if we want the efficacy of the institution or the organization or, or the business etc we need to act because that's a not you're dealing with human beings and with this we wish you success inshallah wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa